It is one of the most remote parts of the world, the Salomon Islands. 500,000 people live here, scattered across almost 1,000 of these islands. Wilson Gina, a team leader for the government's rural development program, takes us on one of his inspection visits to a local clinic. It is a welcome visit because the local women are pushing for better medical care. And any arrival of a boat can mean new medical supplies, such as vaccines, which cannot be stored here because there is no refrigerator on the island. For those living here, healthcare is extremely basic. Simple medical problems can quickly become life-threatening because rough waters and the cost of transportation make travel often impossible. The local clinic is in bad shape and the only medical professional is a male nurse assistant. This clinic should be upgraded, should be upgraded quickly so that the other staff and nurses should be here to help out with the services provided to the community, especially uh, on diagnosing uh, problems early and doing some deliveries, especially midwifery should be here. And things will change soon. The World Bank has promised financial help to upgrade this clinic because several women here have died due to birth complications. Reginald takes us to a family that had to suffer great tragedy because of their inability to get medical care for their daughter. Mirandi and William Parisani now take care of their granddaughter Kali, who survived while her mother died during childbirth. There was no boat to take her to the big clinic. So we just stayed here while she was having labor pains. Everything was delayed. When we finally got her to the big clinic, she delivered the baby. But she lost a lot of blood and then she died. To upgrade the clinic, Wilson has asked the local community to help with the renovation. But the community-driven project is stalling. The urgency of maternal health has not yet caught on with the male villagers. I'm not happy at all. In fact, I'm very disappointed. They have enough time to complete this project and the men were pointing fingers at one another and they did not do anything. Tonight. There's going to be, I'm having a community meeting and I'm going to express myself very strongly. After sunset, the big shell is blown by the village elder and 150 villagers show up. It is a serious pep talk by team leader Wilson and his pleas are echoed by the women who ask to finish this quickly for the sake of their children. The men finally promise to finish the work so that the women can turn to more than just their deep religious faith and daily prayers when they give birth to the island's next generation. <laughs>